Reserve Bank Governor Raghuram Rajan has tried to downplay the controversy triggered by a draft parliamentary bill that seeks to reduce the central bank's independence to set interest rates. The draft legislation published last month for public comments called for the creation of an interest rate setting committee. It also removed a reference to the central bank governor's veto power and permitted the government to appoint more than half of its members. Dr. Rajan today said the responsibility and decision of setting rates so far is that of the RBI governor, adding that the RBI had reached a broad understanding with the government. So we have been enthusiastic supporters of the idea of a committee. Since the finance minister's budget announcement that such a monetary policy committee would be formed, we have been engaged in dialogue with the government. From the RBI's side, we wanted to ensure the structure should ensure continuity in policy as the market attempts to understand the voting patterns of new MPC members. I can reiterate the finance secretary's comment yesterday that the government and RBI have reached a broad consensus on what such a committee should look like and what the powers of the governor should be. While the details have to be ironed out, there are no differences between the government and the RBI in this matter. I will only talk about the veto issue, which uh, has gained some uh, public uh, discussion. Um, I mean, currently, the situation is the governor has the veto. That's effectively uh, all advice is only advice. Ultimately, the decision is the governor's. So if we continue to retain a veto, it doesn't change the, uh, the current situation. It maintains the status quo. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but let, on the rest of the issues, uh, I think, why don't we await the formal announcement of the committee propo <coughs> proposal? After all, the, this will have to eventually go into a, um, a change in the RBI Act, which requires legislative change, so it requires parliamentary approval, et cetera.